Hello guys, today we're going to be making a Mountain Dew cake. I'm using Duncan Hines Classic White Cake Mix. So, basically, people are saying all you need is a box of cake mix and one can of your favorite soda. Now, Pepsi is my favorite kind of soda, but I'm using Mountain Dew for this recipe as it might be better tasting in the cake, so... Um, I've had soda cake in the past from my school days, but the teacher in the cooking class, she would use her favorite type of soda, this pudding, and extract. She didn't really, that's a lot of stuff to add into it, and now people are now saying you can just make soda with, uh, well, <laughs> you can make soda, you can make cake with just a can of soda and a box of cake mix. So, I'm going to go ahead and try it out. And I'm making my cake in this bunt cake pan. Got two dollars at Walmart. I've had this for a while. I keep it, I keep it for the holidays mainly. The holidays is how it comes up and it's really nice. It's a beautiful cake by the way when it comes out. But yeah, let's pause the video. We need the interesting facts and get into this review. Okay guys, everything seems simple enough. Let's go out to the kitchen, get this thing done. I'll also be using my mini toast oven for this too. This pan can fit in there just fine, so you know. Okay. Now we just need a can of Mountain Dew. Get everything stood up into place. It should be uh, good, I guess. This is weird, not adding in no eggs, no oil and stuff, no water. But yeah, we'll try a cake like this though. It sounds good though. We're done stone a cake. Let's move this to the to the side. Now let's go ahead and grease all uh, bunt cake pan. And now we add in our cake mix. Get the sides that are wiped off like right there on top. And now into now into the oven. See you guys in 33 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess now. Alright guys, here we do here we go. It was baked on the 350, which isn't bad and it really it looks really good and everything. Um, we did stick a knife into it because I ain't got no toothpick, so I stick a knife into it to uh, test that it was done, and it was. So now we're going to give some time to cool off, and we'll be back uh, later on with it. Okay, guys, it is five five 5.56 in the morning time. This case been cooling down for 20 minutes, and now we have a plate. We're going to take this, put it over top. This is going to be kind of difficult to do this, but we're going to try it though. And I felt it come out. 
Okay, I'm gonna put it back in on my desk. Oh my. It did come out and it came out just fine. And guys, here is the product result. Look at that. That is a beautiful design, by the way. Now, you guys can say all you want to call me weird, but I'm a type of guy that does not like to put icing on a cake. I mean, I really don't. But the point of this video is to do this review and we're kind of off topic today, but I mean, we are gonna go ahead, cut a piece of it off, and we're gonna try it out, and yeah. So without any further ado, let's get a piece of cake. Get my thing I cleaned out, it's all good again. Anywho, let's go ahead, try this cake out, or see if it tastes good or not. I'm not gonna get a small piece of it though, I don't want a lot of it though. But it's kind of early in the morning though, so that's the reason why I don't want a lot of it though. <laughs> Get a small little piece of it like that. There we go. <laughs> okay, I can pick it up a little bit. It, it, it looks good. I mean, I was wanting to get a bite of it from the, from the plate though. I didn't want to want to... Okay, yeah, there we go. I can get a good group of it though. I am all lost in this video, guys. I... Okay. Weird. Is there a cake right here? You can barely taste them out and doing this cake. It's... It's an okay cake. It, it is very sweet on the other hand, though. I will give it that. It, it is very sweet. I can barely taste any Mountain Dew at all. It tastes like vanilla cake, basically. Mm. I will give it props, though. This cake is baked perfectly. And it's better than any kind of still bought cake you can buy. The still bought cakes are all okay, but a homemade cake just tastes better and it just hits differently, you know? Now, on a scale out of 1 out of 10, would I um, make this again? I mean, yeah, I can, but I'd rather use the other ingredients, so like the eggs, the oil, the water, or something like that. My camera light just went dark too. Hold on one second, guys. Much better. But I, but like I said, guys, from zero out of twenty, what would I rate this? I'm gonna rate this a uh, sixteen point two. It's close to twenty, and it's very good, and it, it's very tasty. I am kind of surprised on how the cake just rised up with the soda in it, though, with the combination in the soda. Uh, I guess it must have rizzed it up or something, but I mean, if you guys are low on eggs or oil and, and you got some Mountain Dew or your favorite type of soda, uh, go ahead and use that, guys. That's, that's impressive, honestly. I mean, I've seen Mountain Dew cake before, but I've always seen the ingredients into it, though, like extra all these ingredients into it, so I didn't ever think just a can of soda itself can actually just rise the soda make a cake rise up like that. It's very super moist on the inside too, it's very nice. But uh, overall though, it's really good without the icing, I mean... Like I said, I'm the kind of guy that does not like icing on my cake, I mean, I'm, I, I never did, I mean, it's just too sweet, and then... Every time I've had cake in the past, whether it be store bought or homemade, I would just take a knife and just cut the icing off of it and stuff, you know? But I mean, it's 6 or 8 in the morning time, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put my piece in the refrigerator and just keep it for later on, like maybe like a lunch. After I get to eat my lunch, I'll keep it as a snack. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below, guys. 
if you guys may if you guys can make a cake like this or if you guys are allowed to make a cake like this i don't know how many people's uh kids or adults and everything but anyways hopefully this helps you guys out let me know in the comments down below if you guys would make this let me know if you've already tried it i'll reply back to your comments i'd love to hear back from you guys so with all that being said thank you, thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go get me some real breakfast now and i'll see you guys in the next food and drink review put god first make sure you check out my main mate my main show it's chris station and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching